is everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope things are good for you. My heart is just aching over the uh, over the invasion by Russian forces on Ukraine. What is Putin up to? Does he have some messianic vision? Does he uh, is he out of touch with reality? I know he's always had this obsession with restoring the old uh, Russian Empire. But the problem with that scheme of his is the nations that made up the Russian Empire are independent states and they want to remain that way. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like it's all imperial these imperial dreams are like all about me, the imperial power. With no consideration to the nation being invaded. And I, I take heart and hope in the resistance of the Ukrainian people. 15 year old kids and 80 year old great grandmothers taking up arms to defend their country. Tossing Molotov cocktails at Russian armor. Everyday citizens just walking up to Russian soldiers and yelling at them to go home. It's just heartening. And the sanctions regime is very tightening up. But it's affecting all, particularly his, Putin's uh, oligarch buddies. As well as everyday citizens of Russia. And I'm also heartened by the uh, rising of the Russian people who are protesting against the war. They don't want this war, the Ukrainian people don't want this war, and the Russian military is just doing so disastrously in the field. It's not working. The war is wrong. And what really gives me the shivers is that it's the idea of, of, of Putin deploying nuclear weapons. Did he go that far? It has, we have to do our part to support the Ukrainian people, and the peace-loving people of Russia. Not the government, not Putin, Russia, the people. I mean, in this country, we have whole political movements upset with the tyranny and despotism of having to take a vaccine to stop a killer disease and having to put on masks to stop the spread of the virus. Now, in Ukraine, that's real freedom fighting. Our conservative movement is just so ridiculous anymore. You look at the recent uh, Conservative Political Action Committee Conference, CPAC. I mean, it's just Hillary bashing, Fauci bashing, refusal to wear masks, acting, calling Joe Biden a senile old fart. Like their own uh, idol, Donald Trump is a genius. And all these Fox News mouthpieces talk about what a genius Donald, genius Donald Trump is. And Putin, that brilliant move he made. Not so brilliant. I'm just hoping that some elements of the Russian military... Uh, get together and say, uh, Mr. President, this isn't working. We can't go along with this. It has to be a red line. And the Russian people are providing that red line. And more especially the Ukrainian people, standing up for their rights, standing up for their freedom. Putin didn't see that coming. Putin didn't realize the Ukrainian people will f fight for their freedom and not just capitulate at the sign of a Russian tank. 
Let's not cap capitulate here. Let's stand up for our rights here. Let's have the Ukrainian people be our role model. Like the right to vote. Without that right, there are no other rights. If we can't get together to vote to change our officials and change our, the course of our country, all the other rights are gone. We, and let's not ever let any damn thing get in the way of our right to vote. We're going to go to the polls and not let any law or any gang of thugs get in our way. That's it for now. Now we have uh, our, our advertisements. The Hemperific is a lovely little CBD product store on 15th and Snyder in South Philadelphia. And they got some of the finest CBD products, flour and drinks and teas and gummies and lip balm and dog treats. Dog treats for your doggy. Please look them up. HemperificLLC.com And also, I will again talk up my beloved career coach, Michelle Snow. Michelle is excellent in helping you develop your professional career or small business. Let you know what you're doing right, where you need work, and helping you network with other small entrepreneurs and professionals. Please look her up. Grow with Snow. Dot com. Okay, cats and kittens, that's it for me, for now, but more to come, trust me. I close with Slava Ukraini, glory to Ukraine. America will be free. Bye.